Alright, what up world, Slurry Joe. This right here is the screen pack for whip I've been working on. Whip means work in progress. As you can see, most of the stuff is uh, changed. Pretty big changes. Uh, the prepare is the same as an option screen. It doesn't change. That's a, that's a big for me because in most screen packs or most uh, Mugen programs, they usually change it and I want it to be the same. Another thing you might notice is the background. The background mimics the Final Fantasy VII on uh, PlayStation from 1997. It's a new rendition. It's an Advent Children variation that uh, I hand drew myself and felt it would be appropriate to plug in. Okay, this is my sparring screen, or uh, basically the training area, and I'm just going to go through and show you guys what all I have for the selection screen. For starters, this role is basically prior versions, what I like to call retro versions of mutant characters from Final Fantasy VII that people release on the internet. I went in and I uh, took them and plugged them into my game and I, uh, you know, did a few tweaks to them via the icons and portraits, etc. And uh, I'm going to go through and show you guys what my versions of each one of them look like. Don't worry, it'll be fairly quick. This is Ares. Vincent. Tiffle. Cloud. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to show you guys, uh, well I can't show you this, my Sephiroth. Kind of spoiled it because Sephiroth's the, uh, the boss for a little game we're making. We got Barrett Wallace. K Sith. Oh, sorry. Red 13, then K Sith. Uh, essentially, these four are custom made, and uh, there have been no previous or retro versions made for them. So I'm literally a, a pioneer, and I, I have betas already made for each one of these that uh, I'm currently have a test of working on. Oh, and Sid Island. Other than those Final Fantasy VII characters, I have a plethora of other characters that I integrate into it, which is like basically just stuff that I'd like to see inside of my TV fighting game. So I just went on the internet and you know found various other characters that I like. Um, as you can see, I really love boxing, so I have two roles dedicated to boxers. Um, let's see. Oh. Uh, for you old school people who are uh, familiar with Final Fantasy VII, you'll notice that there's material slots. If the material slot is empty, it just means there's nothing there. For the green material slots, which is usually the, uh, well, oh, for lack of better terms, the magic materials. And the magic materials would just be random select. Uh, for those of you who are eyeballing, I guess, fairly hard, you'll notice that I have red material and yellow material. Well, the yellow materials are basically physical training. Because uh, in the game, yellow material were command materials for physical. So, you know, I found my favorite physical games to put them in, which is like, I guess, a boxing program, uh, moving object program, and breaking bricks. And then on the right, you notice red. And red is, of course, summons. And uh, I found a king, Behemoth. I have no idea what this is from, but I know Behemoth is a frequent, or rather, he's used a lot in uh, Final Fantasy, so I put him in. He's from Final Fantasy V-ish, and we yeah, have my Behemoth, which uh, I'll, I'll put a video out for him, you, you guys. In fact, I think, yeah, for the Lord Order, I'll put the video out of Behemoth first, but this is a whip I've been working on. So, I don't know. Just uh, when you get a chance, check that out too. Another thing I like to show you guys is the select team mode, or you know, whenever you select your character, what it looks like. 
uh, I have it set up so that it, it basically loads up materials depending on how many characters you pick. And uh, yeah, just thought that was a neat change to it. Alright, it's been hard as what we do. It's been my review of my screen pack. And God bless.